Okay, wow. So, hey, look, guys, we have a great professional active in the business. Oh, here we go. Some more questions. Can you ask questions? Yes. Paul asked on um, uh, uh, what, ad, uh, and what ads do the CRM do? So back when you re we discussed your Sierra interactive uh, software, one thing you should mention was the fact they run ads within the CRM. And a lot of them do that. I, I have KV Core, we run ads in that, and Boomtown does that and such, but it's nice right. when it's all integrated. So in Sierra Interactive, what kind of ads do you run within your CRM? It's real simple. Um, for the probate leads, or it's just, you, I mix everything together. So the same message is everything that I'm looking for a property to buy or a listing agent where I tell a story. And it's, it's, you're using their phone number and their email. So one of the good things you can do, this is a tip for you, is you could take that probate information and skip trace it to find all their relatives. And then you double the amount of, or you quadruple the amount of data you have for that probate lead. And then you're, then you could retarget them on Facebook or YouTube or Google ads. It, I would, we're, we're work, I'm rebuilding that stuff. I don't really like to pay for Facebook ads and say, oh, I got a house to sell. It's really about storytelling and, um, and or a successful story of a probate deal or something I'm doing with probate. Like you, Bill, your constant articles, man. Those are great. Well, I got a lot of big, I have big goals. I got to keep moving, so I can't That's slow right. down. That's <laughs> right. Um, okay, question from Winston. Thanks for the great questions, guys. You uh, just want to let you know, um, Dave, you like getting people's juices fired up here. Um, he good. asks, um, uh, what kind of mailing or marketing program are you using? Are you using all the leads for their mailing? You do your own mailing? Are you using your CRM to interface with mail? What are you doing this for? Yeah, so I have uh, my mom. She's retired. Whoa, and whoa, the, whoa. The secret weapon comes yeah. out now, mom. Yeah, so get somebody that, so for me, I've found out that you get somebody that is retired or works from home, and you don't have to mask or send letters. You you just have to be consistent. So, you know, after you make a phone call, we put a task in for Barbara to send a handwritten note. Or my, the probate magazine that we, I got this 28-page uh, book that I send out. And it, and it just has, has stories of all our successes in probate. They will never open this book. But man, this is a, it's just powerful to send them. Nice. So, nice. so nice. We're, we're constantly, every 21 days, we're doing something with that person to remind them we're either looking for that listing or looking to purchase the home. But I, I really attack it as a realtor online. Um, I really try to market myself as a broker to get them the most money for the property. But when it comes down to the end of the day, they, they just want to sell it. And if you're in communication with them and you ask permission to buy it, other than being the realtor, you're going to probably buy the house. Huh.